All right, so here's another video. And today, we have finally got another video as post update. We're going to be trying a uh, new update strat. We're going to be trying to do, if I can select in time, Mortar Farm Super Monkey. So, um, yeah, not going to blow line a while because um, general busyness. We recorded a spam video which we said about in the uh, Discord announcement. If you're not enjoying my Discord, there's a thing in the description. If that doesn't work, then just ask me. But, um, uh, yeah. Just, yeah, struggling to get that motivation to push record there, I can't lie. And then, um, yeah, so I'll do a live card now. Hopefully it works. Sometimes it's not been working. I've got a new... Originally, the problem was there was not a... Um, my cable to my phone didn't really work, so I had to use my computer, which is not as solid for um, uh, recording these. So um, I, uh, oh, I collected that by accident. Um, so yeah, so it's been a bit harder to get the, uh, the recordings, uh, out, but, um, now nah, we, we, we try, we try to get back on track, I could just kept that farm and I kind of saw me collect the last, uh, we're going to greed for this actually, he's not sending us anything at all, uh, so yeah, so a new update came up yesterday, uh, a lot of people probably, uh, liking the new, um, well, what came out, the, uh, the new, uh, older balloon chipper buffs, yeah, those were quite cool. And uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have a look at that in um, in future videos. You don't need to worry about that. But uh, I thought what was really good was the um, let's go for the super rare this far back. Probably a bit too far back, but uh, yeah, I thought the um, the balloon chipper buff, uh, not the, the mortar buff, was really good. If you've not really seen the mortar buff, the kind of the mortar still basically just one shots everything now. So what I'm thinking is if you um, kind of just you know you can boost to like normally if you boost to something. Versus uh, with the mortar, then you can get all out with regen rainbows and um, a singular mortar stool. Selling everything for a single mortar stool or a few things, or you have to sell everything for the mortar stool and then you're in a bad position. But um, oh, for the mortar stool, and have some defense to kept down. But this time you can just like sell some defense off the odd farm or two, and then you're in a, a really good spot still because um, the mortar stool will just take care of everything pretty much. Regen rainbows isn't quite taken care of, but it's like pretty much the and the regular rainbows do get taken care of. It's just a regen that uh, pushes it off. Anyway, this guy's playing really passive. He's using the uh, farm powers. So obviously, uh, if you didn't see the uh, the patch notes, the um, the eco powers, uh, all the ones that give you eco, I think, except for um, obviously dual eco boost and solid wounds. I think I think they all got nerfed. So like copy eco got nerfed, but all the uh, regular eco powers they all got nerfed. So um. Yeah, so we're now both using Chul Eco Boost, which is a completely different playstyle. For aggro, I still think you're using, uh, you've got to be using uh, Super Eco Boost, just, it's just, it's just, it just helps your aggro playstyle so much. You slow yourself down if you got the farm, but I've not, I've not tested it out fully. I don't know if the um, difference is so much there that has to be done now. And I like, look at this, like we're going to go for BIA soon. And, um, we uh we're doing it with no eco or barely any eco as opposed to if you have super eco boost you uh do have eco which um is just completely unfair so which is why it doesn't need to be stronger so that doesn't become a problem uh, so we could obviously we could do it this round but that's way too greedy we get punished did i send a lead in already i don't know anyways we're sending one in now um i think i'll leave this down here you will do it round 12, end of round 12. We'll get the extra bananas as well, so... Yeah, get the full value from our uh, uh, Julie Kabu stuff, so that's fun. Oh, he just lightninging these, okay. Lightninging these is definitely not a proper English, but... Oh well. I can't sell. Okay, we can sell. Fantastic. Oh, sell freeze. Okay, that's just cringe. And that is just cringe. Okay, well, it won't be so free, so I'll tell you that. Okay, what the hell is going on? <laughs> if we'd sold the other plantation, if I could have hit the sell button, then. Ah, oh, I have recorded so much at the start, we have to play. He's got face palm as well. Look at that was cringe. Face palming me as well. Anyways, are we going to try this straight again? I feel like it has got some potential. Like, obviously, this is the first time I'm using it in a free power up, so. You know, we can make mistakes, we're not sure where the mortar star is better, the, the superstar is better. We didn't get sent anything at all there, so we could greed loads. But, um, yeah. 
we just kind of need to uh, to work this out. Or if, if it's like, I feel like lightning is the play because we do want to go for a, a farm really early on. And then lightning is the best for catching up with that. And with Jewel Eco Boost, lightning, just so that you can greed a few more farms earlier on in the game and get more value out of the Jewel Eco Boost. But um, yeah, I'm sure it's just a bit of an anomaly there having that. Uh, Kavin is playing, he doesn't really know how to play properly. So we can just do this farm start. Because it is Cobra, he's definitely going to be sending us stuff this time though. So I think I'm going to go for a mortar straight away. Try not to leak too many lives. Move this up here. I can now get the faster firing as well. It's not going to slow us down for an upgrade or anything like that. And we'll send some stuff in just to try and force his mortar on him. Still going to be sending nothing in with Jolly Caboose, but um, he can send less in. Uh, we didn't think we got that in time if we got the Eco Boost, but it's fine, honestly. Uh, so we've got a super monkey now because we do need the super monkey down for or we can use two lightnings whatever's worth more i'm not sure yet but um yeah we probably still need to use our lightning anyways for pinks so we'll uh we'll let this let this go or we could just greed it out hmm i'm gonna greed it out i'm gonna see how it works if we greed it out. Oh, i did the wrong thing Shit. <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm washed, guys. I'm washed. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So now we're playing the greeting, the greedy uh, double lightning play, I guess, because we clicked the wrong button. <laughs> um, I guess having a well, got, it's not the worst play. It's not like it's not tragic. Let's get this down now. There we go. And we'll smile because it's a kind of funny thing that we're doing. And I think we'll collect this round. I don't think blacks get through it. They pair not get through a super monkey, god damn. Uh, we'll start collecting these now. Uh, we'll collect that last one. Now we'll just let these uh, start getting, getting down some more bananas. So we can get a little bit more extra value out of the uh, Jewel Eco Boost. Uh, it's quite an old trick. Can't around then. There we go. I realize this is quite an old trick, but um, uh, you not, should not really have to use super uh, Jewel Eco Boost for a while, so maybe people don't know of it. <laughs> He's going to adjust round 7, good round to adjust, because there's a lot of balloons on this round. Uh, so we'll go for this. Uh, yeah, we'll just sell for that. And yeah, this is the thing of the strategy, which I think it's, it's good. So, uh, reasons why it could work. Um, Mortar's really good at early rounds. Mortar still now clutches up versus stuff, couldn't do that before. And then Super Monkey can take you really late, it's a sacrifice, handles the mobs and BFBs. I don't know how well, that's kind of what we need to uh, work out here, I guess. So I think it's going to cover round 9 as well, the Julika boost. When did I do it? Yeah, I did do it like that, okay. We could have also done the round 6 one and then just saved up all this, because you can save up quite a bit on this round. I'm going to go for bigger blast just because stuff going to start pushing a little bit. I don't know why he's adjusting me so much, it's so weird. Um, could just get another mortar down here. Uh, I probably should be wanting to go for laser blast, to be honest, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, we need another farm down, no matter what, because we've got the dual eco boost. Got to get our farms down. Important just to get these farms continuously coming down. Um, we'll throw a lead down, and we'll put camo, camo pinks, just spaced ones up after. Just uh, yeah, I like the camo pinks. Because they're so quick, you, you know, it comes at you quite fast and it makes you kind of panic. Other than like uh, any other camos, it's just a bit slow. And um, you're not going to quite rush as much, I don't think. Right, for enough one of these. And yeah, to be fair, maybe to the Cell Freeze guy, maybe Cell Freeze is becoming more of a play if Super Eco Boost, maybe Eco is a little less weak and just slow farms are stronger. Let's go for a bank. Okay. So I think this is where our strategy might be quite strong. Oh no, he's not going to go for it. Is he going to go for it? No, I did it too early. I shouldn't have sold that early. That was silly. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. Okay, I got baited really hard there. Let's <laughs> um, just go for this one in the end now. Yeah, we got baited too hard there. We should always be uh, trying to boost that first. But Is he going to double cam grow now?
Okay, there's a double cam go. And more to stall damage boost. Look, it just pops everything down straight away. And more to stall again. And look at that. Look how strong that is. That's why I think this mortar stall might be OP now. Because look how strong that was. A full cam grow thing. Taken care of instantly. That's why... Here we go. There's, <laughs> I don't think there's been enough believers in this new mortar. And enough hype around. Which is from, I've not seen loads of people talking about it to be honest. But I think that's this is why I think it should be talked about more. Look at that. Just like a huge, huge, huge rush. That you would have killed you entirely before. And now it's easy. <laughs> And now he's going to go for BFBs. He's going to budget in some BFBs. We could rush him back. Uh, we could do a few things here. But I think a, uh, a Robo Monkey should be enough to uh, defend this. Let's go for the Robo Monkey. And this is kind of his all out. So, okay, uh, let's put this on last if we can, just so that we don't pop it down a bit too early. Okay, there we go. Get this down now. Damage boost. And I don't think we're going to have any problems to this. Right, yeah, there we go. Get another super monkey down, why not? And yeah, nice and easy. If in doubt, we sell this on Mortar Store because Mortar Store is OP, we must not forget. I'll throw a Moab in, but the game is won. Perfect demonstration of why I thought this strategy would work. So yeah, you just saw all those rainbows come on the screen. But, singular mortar stall. We, we were silly and sold the bag so early, like, we can literally just force him to do the rush. And you can do it late, that's the strength of it, you don't need to prepare it early. So I, I played it quite badly still, but uh, even with playing it badly, uh, the strategy was still just clutched up enough. And uh, yeah, that's why, that's why I think this could be quite strong. You've got to play it well though, and um, if we have a late game, like this guy might take us late, so that would be quite nice, so we can demonstrate how you can uh, uh, rock the late game with the uh, the mortar. Because you have got, because obviously the mortar is sacrificial tower, and it's quite a good sacrifice for the super as well, so... Yeah, I think it could be quite good. We had to burn two lightnings early on as well, so... Uh, um, yeah, showed that didn't really hinder us too much at all, that actually helped our farms uh, maintain really... Uh, yeah, really helped us maintain strong farms throughout their game, so... Yeah, yep, yeah, solid, solid, solid one, that one. When we're not getting cell freezed. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go into the next one. Hopefully, uh, see some more similar results. He's going to do Ninja Star at the top. I'm guessing he's doing an Eco Strat. Uh, we're still going to go for our farm first, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll start Mortar instead. He's going to anti Yeah, I didn't think so. He's going to say. Why is he anti-stalling here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's put this over here. We do need to get up our uh, farm next, though. Because, uh, obviously, dual eco boost. We've not got a uh, even a zero zero down until a second before round three. So we're not going to use a, uh, a round three dual eco boost for the first one. Just going to chill with this down for now. And then, yeah, weakness of the dual eco boost, obviously. You can't really send stuff in now because we need to uh, need to force themselves. Uh, this one is a bit more viable, I think. To uh, actually, he's already getting defense on his own, so I guess that's fun. Uh, yeah, it's a bit more viable to dual eco boost uh, to, to, to double lightning greed or a single lightning greed, hopefully, for um, pinks because he's going to want to be ecoing. If he's going to keep sending pinks, we can leak a load of lives. We don't need to worry about it because it is eco. So we can greed for this here, and yeah, we can just chill now. We don't really need to, uh, we don't need to worry. If he sends more pinks in, then I'm going to lightning at the end. Okay, he didn't send as much yet. That was smart. That was smarter. Uh, if he does it again, then um, almost got the uh, the super monkey down in time. We could just do another lightning. Do we want to do another lightning? Yeah, I want to do another lightning. And now we're there. Uh, do we need to lightning that? I don't think so, but oh well, we got it now. Let's put a super monkey so it can hit the top lane just for like blacks later on. But uh, yeah, there is our super monkey. We've slowed his eco down quite a bit by him uh, stopping to um, uh, deal with that stuff, so that's fun. And uh, yeah, it looks like this is defending blacks. I wasn't sure if this would defend blacks or not, but that's quite good. If this, I mean, the blacks are greens. 
The, the round seven balloons. I mean, the round six balloons. Oh my god, we, we don't know anything anymore. We've forgotten everything. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, uh, blacks are coming down now. Super should be able to deal with blacks. Um, this strategy is kind of relying on. I'm going to get Bernie stuff now. We need it for yellows, anyways. It's going to help us a bit with blacks. And. Um, yeah, the blacks are slowly overwhelming. Wow, I didn't think the super monkey would not be able to handle space to blacks. Well, okay. Well, that's uh, that's something that we had to find out when we found out. So, uh, uh, I guess all knowledge is good knowledge. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not, but um, we'll, we'll pretend that saying is a, a saying. You know, just for you know a few more seconds, and now you can you can start to fade out and realize that there is a lot of silly knowledge out there. Um, probably like balloon, just most balloons knowledge is probably just, you know, not as important as any other knowledge, but you know, nah, 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 it's vital. <laughs> um, yellows, this is where I'd like a later super monkey, but we don't have it, so we're going to have to uh, deal with it, at least a few more lives, but maybe on a laser blast. Now, we could go for our second mortar again, that was also a decent play, probably the play versus Sending actually. I'm sure he sends his white in a second. Let's get a bigger blast here. And I want our next plantation down, obviously, because we've got the Julie Caboose still active. So let's do this. Get our next farm down. And yeah, let's send in a camo lead. It's the first thing we've sent in, maybe. Oh, we forgot to get the camos there. We can leak those three lives to the greens, that's fine. We get a big balloon, uh, big balloon buster there as well. And yeah, now we should just be chilled to most things. If he rushes us, you know, lightnings and damage boosts. But let's get around 13 BIA down. And yeah, cool. All right, let's start to the game. Yeah, uh, we are going to get a laser eyes. The next thing we do, just because like ceramics, he could try and sneak a ceramic in there, and that is going to be the uh, next most effective rush that he can do to us. Um, do we even want to put these mortars together to try and uh, stop the uh, the weaker balloons pushing so far? Because like yellows are going to push this far around here, it's not going to be ideal. We put it over here, maybe. Put them both there. Could that work? That yeah, might work. We'll see how that works. Anyways, now we're going to start uh, farming again. We can just space eco a little bit now, actually. Kind of get our eco up, because we are now spamming the IA sound. That's how we're playing this. Um, which is, you might be thinking, uh, Super Eco Boost is better. If we're going to spam BIAs, we want more eco. Super Eco Boost gets us more eco. But, um, yeah. Just want to try out this new farm power. It feels quite safe doing it like this. Um, you're always going to get around 13 BIA. You should always get around 13 BIA down versus... Uh, Eco strat versus any other passive strat versus copy eco strats, which I'm not sure if they're going to be as prominent anymore of the nerf, but I don't think the nerf is that major to be honest. The, the, the thing which is broken about copy eco is just being able to, uh, like, round um, four copy a soul or round seven copy all the super eco boosts. So I don't think it's going to really go away that much, is my prediction, but uh, we'll see. I guess I could be wrong. Um, obviously I've not been playing loads and loads so I don't know what the meta kind of game has been like as recently I'm guessing there's still loads of um, loads of super eco boosts, loads of eco strats, loads of uh, I guess there's less uh, free power ups as well so that's another thing to consider but uh, okay round 19 we're going to sell this, go for this uh, sell this, cash this out and go for this and we're going to keep space ecoing and I've got two BIs down, that's fun um, obviously, we're going to need some money for a, uh, a BFB defend. Is a BFB defend going to get ever sent in here? Let's think. Um, probably not. It just slows his eco down so much. and So, cash out, cash out. And I reckon we get the robo for the defend. So, um, that's how we're defending that, if you were a curious. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we should be good. We should be good here. We've got loads and loads of eco. What do we have? No, we don't have loads and loads of eco. I'm just, I'm just waffling at this point. <laughs> We've got a decent amount of eco. A little bit of eco. Let's try and place these in. Okay, he's actually going to go for the BFB send, it looks like. He stopped sending anything in, so... Oh, no, he just gone for that. Oh, no, he's preparing for the BFB send. Lol. Uh, who actually outlasts it? Super Monkey or... 
Oh shoot, what's this last tower gonna be? If it's Super Monkey, we might be actually screwed. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's now sending in again, okay. And yeah, we're fine, we're fine. fine. <laughs> 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 Not, not the most comfortable um, of the, the defense there, but uh, we might want a big one down now. I think it's uh, it's time. Time for the big one. Uh, let's let's just let's just use this. <laughs> We're just getting a little bit sketchy. <laughs> yeah, just wrap it in. Uh, not have that little bit of a little bit of panic right there. And let's go for the big one. There we go. Bang. Uh, we could even keep it high up. I'm going to keep it high up just in case. But Yeah, uh, let's just eco now, I guess. Um, we should be able to get a lot more eco. We need to be sending in earlier. We need to be, so the advantage of having a uh, late game with uh, farms uh, and a late game strat versus eco late game strat is that you can send in ZMGs earlier and that's going to stop eco from the eco player earlier. And then, ho or hopefully that's the idea. Because yeah, it's going to take, it's a lot harder, you can spam temples a lot easier, a lot faster than they can spam temples. You've got to take advantage of that advantage that you possess. Anyways, um, just keep eco. I kind of want to get this up by the end of this round, so yeah, let's go for this. I could have actually just not sold that and just normally got it up and saved a little bit of money, but it's not the end of the world, I can't lie. Uh, keep eco in round 25, we'll have... A really good amount of money in those two BAs, so we'll cash them both out then. Maybe all three at once, just so that everything's kind of on the same kind of time. Oh, uh, no, I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one. I think. Uh, it's cost something. Uh, I would just make a s spontaneous decision at the time. You could just send pinks in, to be fair, now to eco a little bit harder. Don't need to be uh, saving up for that BI at the same time now anymore. And this should just be fine with the big one. Yep, completely fine. Should just be fine, yep. One but one pink. One pink is fine. And cash out, cash out. BIA one. BIA two. I'm gonna go for this just so that nothing slips through. I'm pretty sure this makes it attack slightly faster. It looks like it's attacking faster. And is, uh, we also got the panic mortar store button then as well, so that's kind of fun. And yeah, that's a good amount of BIs for now. now back to Mexico wing. Actually, I think I just want to fill the map with BIs right now, I can't lie. We've got some short rounds coming up. I think we need to. I don't know the optimal way of BIing. I've never been a proper late game swear, have I? But um, uh, this round, let's go for this maybe. And more BIAs, more BIAs. Just want to fill as many BIAs up here as possible. And another BIA. And uh, yeah, that's how this mid game is just going to go. Or mid to late game. Moving on late. Oh, we are going to need a Robo here, actually. So uh, we'll go for this Robo next. It's so easy to afford the Robo when you have so much money. Damn. Uh, okay, for this. Get the big one down here. It's not really going to do anything to more mobs. And now back for the uh, the BIA spam. Back on the uh, back on the the spam. <laughs> right, let's sell this so we got more room for more BIAs in a second. Another one. We're going to be getting so much ego uh, around now. We could space ego so that we can yeah, get set up a little bit more. And how much is in these? We're going to just cash out all of these now. To be honest, I want them all kind of synced up. And I can get a few more BIAs down if I do this. And yeah, cool. Okay. Let's just eco hard now, I think, is going to be the play. Kind of want to get another, another BIA or two down there. I can fit so many more BIAs in here. Like, look, I've only got... Yeah, you know, I, I'm getting triggered by how bad that is. We get, we get more in here. There we go. There we go. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Let's get another uh, super down. That's going to be a uh, sun god rather than a rover because he's going to clutch up on balloons later on. 
another one. And yeah, really getting loads and loads of money from these BIAs now. And should be able to spam with temples around. Yeah, he's got super as well, I thought so. Should be able to spam temples around rounds. Um, what round? I don't really know what round. We're gonna just keep E going for now and we'll work out the rounds when we work it out, I'll be honest. How much of these kind of got in them? Decent little amount, but not, nothing too crazy. And uh, yeah, obviously we kind of, we got a good sacrifice. So um, we don't have the stool though, which is the thing. He can stall his stuff twice, which is, and has a smaller sacrifice. Cause I don't think the glue is as good as the mortar stool or the mortar sacrifice. Mortar stool sacrifice will be a sacrifice. So mortar stool, some big ones. I don't have to optimally sacrifice these either. This has never been a viable strat because of um, the, the strat of the use, because that should always destroy you, really. Because, uh, yeah, the cripple should force the big one, so. But um, it doesn't anymore, because you can just mortar stall. So, um, yeah. Seems always alright. At the end of this round, we'll cash out all the PIAs. We're going to go for our first temple, I think, as well. But, uh, yeah, for now, let's we'll keep Max E going, because we're getting so much from all these... Uh, these BIAs, we'll then let them cash, uh, cash out one more time, so, uh, yeah, so collect, 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 all of these, hopefully we didn't miss any, quickly check, looking for big number, no big number, okay, cool, let's get this down right in the corner here, and now, one of these, already got a mortar stool one down, let's get down there. I think you just want the expensive one. Yeah, it's okay. They're about the same, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, we get range so we can pick this off, hopefully. And yes. Oh, we missed it. God damn. We missed it. <laughs> well, that sucks. Oh, well. Um, this should still be really strong. We'll go for free at the bottom and then we'll go for more later. But. Yeah, just look how much damage it is. <laughs> Actually bonkers. Anyway. Uh, yeah, if I go for the next two, then we can get the more BIAs back down as well. Yeah, so let's go sell these. And let's place this. And this shouldn't sell anything else. And then this can go here. And then one of these. Two and hopefully this sacrifices everything this time there we go that one's definitely a strong one and then this one here one two and three i'm just randomly upgrading these mortars by the way i have no idea how to sacrifice these properly and hopefully that is good Cool, now we can read BIA. Uh, what round can we start to kind of rush back? Uh, uh, we keep going for this, I guess. Why not? Eco a bit more. We'll get to like 20k eco and then we'll kind of start thinking of spamming the map with more temples. But uh, yeah, his eco is going to be a lot, lot lower than ours. So our eco is incredibly high. His maybe like 11k, 12k, I'm guessing. Maybe I'll find a number after. Probably be a little too lazy. I'm, I'm definitely forgetting. I can't lie. We're never getting this number back. But <laughs> maybe. Maybe we somehow remember. And yeah. yeah let's keep egoing for now. So we could, we could get another BIA down. But oh, go on. Just get the extra eco, I guess. Kind of can't go wrong with BIA's late game. <laughs> but uh, yeah. We're going to get so much eco from these BAEs. Another 1200. Wow, wow, wow. And this is not even the max that we've had down. Or maybe it is hyper down. I'll check the number. Uh, round 39. What rounds? Uh, you know, we could go for it now. No, no, no. Next round. Uh, I can't decide. Next round, we'll do it. We'll start. We'll space in one ZMG just to get him, him thinking, him distracted. And we can pretty much at this point spam the map with temples because we got a honey BIs just like. Um, 12, 13 BIAs, I'm not going to count them, I can't be asked. We've got 20k eco, each of them are going to have like 20k in them. And I'm going to cash them out first, just in case rounds end while we're going for this stuff, so that we can uh, 
yeah so then we, now we've got half a mil and let's place this I think this shouldn't sacrifice anything and this can go down here I think this one in the middle I don't place this optimally but I tried my best <laughs> uh, let's go for this and for not that uh, yes this, the, let's just mark out properly what the one is I'm doing what with and I'll just alternate to the other thing for the next one and should give us all our stuff there we go and right, let's space in a just throw in one of these maybe it makes them panic and I should probably be trying to place that a little bit better because I'm not sure we can fit all our mortars in now oh it's so much harder to <laughs> sacrifice the mortar as well I don't know if I can fit any more I've messed it up I'm redoing it okay uh, wait for one in here if I sell this can we okay here we go and mortar up we could pull it down a bit more maybe that will help us and last one here yes there we go there we go there's another one and now yeah we should go for the mortars fit first one two and come on come on maybe we sell this Maybe it sacrifices from here. And get our robo down as well. There we go, there's another one. Let's just throw another one in just to keep him busy. Don't want him to think I've forgotten about him. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna go for them at the top now. We'll sell on these now. We'll do it like from the top down, I guess. So we're gonna do re put these all down here. And can we fit? Hopefully, this fits. That might fit. And I don't think that fits. Anyway, uh, this better get taken care of fairly well. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah once it gets popped down it's gonna get shredded really quick i think oh i've placed these so badly god damn even with all this room i can't even place these properly yeah don't worry about that so it's probably the most damaging temple from a single sacrifice i think and there we go so, we, we missed that oh my days that's so annoying um okay Oh, it's so annoying how you have to like select the thing as well because I keep going for the next one every single time. And go for this. And now one of these next to you. And now that's Sun God. Get another spaced, spaced one going in. And same process. Get applied again. Oh, I don't know if I could fit all these in here. One there. There's one fit here. Looks like it. And another one. Yeah, that should be fine, actually. And just need to fit in this. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to send those in, of course. I missed the button for that. <laughs> there we go, another one of those. And they stay down, that's good. So that means we should be able to quite comfortably now. Get uh, this down. And this down. More to stall it, why not? And. Did we get the. Okay, no. And hopefully. We didn't screw it up. Cool, okay. Now we can uh, keep space. Okay, this is gonna be full, yeah. Let's go just for facts now. 
This is a really, really long game. I should have really prepared for this a bit better. I'm going to have to keep the Cell Freeze game in because that was the like intro for everything. God damn. <laughs> Probably want some mortar stores down at the back as well. You know what, he's not got enough stuff down. I'm going to try and overwhelm him now. I need to stop going to the taskbar. That's really annoying. There's already a thing down. Why is it not getting collected? <laughs> And yeah, we're just going to full send in now. We've got so much eco that it's going to... We should be sending them in one by one to not drain eco as quickly, but... Fair. <laughs> got a lot of damage boost still as well, which is good. So yeah, he's not got... He's not, so you can see we filled the map of temples. He's not... And he's not got as much eco. He's probably... We're probably at similar eco to him that he has now. Even with all these there. ZMG sent in. Good for more of these. Just that we are kind of keeping some sort of money coming in. At some point. <laughs> Maybe spaced would have been better, but nah, we kind of need to go now. Uh, just because our stall isn't that good, I just don't know how long we're going to last for. Uh, but you can just see how powerful these temples are, though. These are really crazy how strong these temples are. We've still got 10k eco, that's fun. Looks like he's going to start count. Oh no, that's just the AI. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I'm going to let each one send. Oh, I'll put three in there. It's like one second, two seconds for them to get sent in, isn't it? Or oh, two seconds, yeah. And another one. I just need this to overwhelm. We can't, we can't outlast him. I'm pretty sure we can't. If, if someone knows how strong the Morph Stall is and it actually can outlast, you know, let us know. Because um, I'm thinking it can't. It's actually just defending so well. I should probably wait a little, maybe a little bit longer. Obviously, you can't, as soon as you start struggling, you can't then send in the stuff because he's got two extra stalls, so... But like, I guess it's only going halfway so far. Maybe you should let it push till like almost the last bend. And then last bend without damage boost. And then he'd start struggling. But um, it's getting really far on his side now, isn't it? We are now out of uh, out of eco. So we can just full send in all of these without trying to think of anything. Probably not really been thinking of anything with the full send in anyways. So hopefully. Yeah, I've only just died to this now. This is just the... Uh, this is the all out. This will be a really epic win if we win this because this is actually then makes this a really strong strat because this is quite a almost a counter strat almost or a late, as, as a late game counter goes. This is a counter strat, but well, I've really never gotten to a, a free power ups game with a mortar stall, uh, a mortar um, uh, thingied. Um, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, uh, the super monkey which has the mortar sacrifice on it. And it's just so strong, like, <laughs> literally, there's no stall, and it's it's just popping everything so quick. I think we just need to keep sending here with the, with all this. He's not used any boost yet, is the main concern. But, um, I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> be interesting to see, kind of see where this dies anyway. Because uh, wherever it does die, we can last a little bit longer. With, uh, using, no, not there. I was going to say, it's better not be there, but not be using our damage boost there. Uh, with, yeah, with better like money use and just not trying to all out will be ways of lasting longer. I think we just need to work on defending now. I think that's as much of a rush as we can really send in this game. So let's go for this. Obviously, we've got no more money-making source at this point of the game. So we just have to rely on all our defense that we have down right now, but it is uh, it's looking pretty strong, so I'm fairly confident, but... Uh, He's not had to boost yet, so I do think he's going to win this one. Good little test. We could have probably gone a, a fair bit later. If we just gone for a bit more defense rather than a... We can mortar stall this once, mortar stall it twice. Yeah, he's going to defend this for now. Interesting little test, yeah. He, he is looking like defending. Um, probably get more value out of just mortar stalling over and over again. Once they pop down, then by... Uh, having a little robo down or they not even a robo just a plasma down <laughs> but um yeah it is looking like he's defending all of this uh, unfortunately mortar stall we don't think we need to put stall my abs honestly they just get hit so fast but uh yeah well he's actually defended this a little bit stronger than i thought but uh you know fair enough to the guy um if you like i hope you like late game if you uh, you've gotten this far um comment late game if you've gotten this far you've done well this video is incredibly long. How long is this? 35 minutes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Enough uploading for the weekend. 
But uh, yeah, we are going to be, uh, we're just going to now pretty much wait out until we die. If I even commentate over this. I don't know. Definitely don't outlast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, he's defended. We could just surrender. I want to surrender just to save time. But I also kind of know when, when to know when he dies. And when we, or when we die, when we die, not him, because he's going to outlast us, but... Kind of intrigued with that. Yeah, he can get more temples down now. Um, what to do, what to do. It's been a long video already. Um, I can say in the future, maybe he can't even start sending to around 60, maybe. Or maybe space in, but not full send. Uh, we mortar stalled some of the stuff before, but did we even need to mortar stall it? I'm guessing we didn't. Yeah, we definitely didn't. <laughs> Look how strong this stuff is. It's just amazing. No stalls at all. Defending around 59 just feels kind of crazy to me. But, uh, yeah. We've come too far to not work out how long this lasts for. We'll do we'll without damage boost, and then we can just add on like two rounds, I guess. So uh, we're just now going to be waiting. I don't know if we're going to really be looking at the game, not really be doing anything. He's obviously going to be popping these way earlier than he we can. Is round 59 going to be the round? Uh, we'll use a mortar stool if it looks like we need to mortar stool. Uh, looks like we're going to be okay. Psych, we're not. <laughs> Okay, go for this. So round 59 was okay with a single mortar stool. Will round 60 be okay? See, is this even a proper test because you could just spam more robos down? I reckon you're getting to round 65 without having to damage boost. If you probably go for the defend, if you packing, you probably get another temple in somewhere. Uh, then you probably get down enough mortar stools. I don't even need to replace all the mortar stools. I think you just get enough uh, robos down. And uh, let's mortar stool end up here. And it should defend just fine. Yep, round 60 is fine. It's it's so crazy to me how late this goes. It's cool though. I do like this. This is a good fun. But yeah, definitely a fun strategy. On a uh, free power ups, definitely doesn't work in a T zero. Tried it in T zero just for funsies. It did not work. I've not even used any tech terrors. Like yeah, there's so many more ways you can take this later. But uh, yeah, it looks like sixty one. I reckon it's gonna die on sixty one. Not quite. We did, we did tech terror, so we're kind of just ruining the experiment in its entirety. But the mortar stool comes back so quickly. By the way, it always comes back for the next uh, the next time the ZMGs are popped down. So that's pretty cool. He could rush us and probably end the game right now, but he's not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in the future, spam more defense down and. Um, Space eco from earlier on still because we do need to train stuff. Yeah, round 62. That's when we die. Well, any damage boosts. But uh, yeah, that's been a long one. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll finally end the video there. Have a nice day. And uh, yeah, see ya.